Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Big Rig Outdoors. It's like paddled out in the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. And in today's episode, we are currently on our way towards Harrisburg, Pennsylvania for this island hunt, I think it's called Moore's Island, or it's called, well, the company who runs it, this hunt is called Moore's Sense, and they make actual like gear sense and stuff like that, but they also do these like guided hunts on this like 200 acre, 150, 200 acre island they have. Um, and we're gonna be uh, getting hogs and dash pigs, and uh, potentially a ram, I haven't, I'm not 100%, really dedicated for a ram right now but we'll see what happens if i see one i want to take i'll take it so at any point in time in this video you like it please smash that thumbs up button please uh consider subscribing already and uh leave a comment down below if you want more details about this place i could try to send you the link if the website's still up uh, but they have a facebook page and a website and basically they want to know is you got a call to set up uh, an appointment to come out here and uh, so it's, it's, it's not bad. So I'll see you guys uh, when we get there. Got a pig right there, boys. I'm gonna have to probably get a little plug. <laughs> I got a four power scope. <laughs> so you can't shoot that motherfucker iron sights? I could, but I want a perfect head shot. Yeah, you need that. I wanted the shot. base of the neck so I can keep the skull. Yeah, it's more about the meat than the hunt for me, so. Yeah. I mean, you better shoot them straight in the dome. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's pretty accurate. Your, I saw, I saw you did. Put your magazine in it. <laughs> you can put it in now. Just don't load it. It's all right. Okay. Walk up on a pig. I mean, I'm standing right here and we're all talking bullshit and the pig's stand there. I think they ain't going to mind if I just go ahead and put the clip in. You're right. <laughs> load up, lean on my tree. I'm just being completely honest. Like, if it would have ran away, I would have been like, yeah, maybe, you know. <laughs> I mean, we're standing out here like, which one's fatter? Yeah, right? <laughs> which one's got more yeah, meat on Yeah, but you pay out. per pound at the butcher now. Mm -hmm. Who, who all's going to shoot first? Age before. Ready to go. All right. I know you are. <laughs> ready to rock. Um, we, let's, let's get all three guys that are going to shoot ready to shoot. Sure. And then... No, they're going to start taking off here soon. So. Get a third shooter up here. I want to go last. Yep. Yeah. Go just, ahead. just so you are even, not one guy ahead of the other. Where you want to go, man? This is the bridge. Go ahead. Nope. Go ahead. Mm -mm. Oh, you hanging back? Mm -hmm. I'm hey, hanging back. You three. I want a challenge. Yeah. Me too. Why don't you shoot him in the line? What the fuck? Run up there, get him. Finish him. Take your time. He did. Get him again. Get him again. Let's go. I love about the 30 30. You ain't getting them. Run after him. Anybody need a shooting stick? You're welcome to use it. Yeah, I'll take it. Thanks. I got 10. Yeah. Apparently, it's good. Anybody want to use this 30 30? Is that a single shot? Yeah. Yeah, I got a single shot 4570. I got a lever 30 30. Man, that's a big pig. Well, you shot the biggest one. That motherfucker's dead in the door now. Mmm. Is that yours, John? Yeah. Well, nice. 30 30 is a fuck around, dude. I don't do no dragon shit.
I can hit him right in the head right here. Can you get it from there? Uh-huh. The one. They took off. See one, the one's right next to the tree. Where's the other one? Okay. Are you good? Yeah. I, I only see one pig, so. Yeah. Alright, because he's going to shoot the one in the front. Yeah. And then there's one standing right oh, behind. Oh, there is one standing right behind. Alright. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, fine. Dude, this more funny. Hold this, hold this. It's ready to rock. Pick your head up. He's about dead anyways. Six and red is seven. Gonna come right across here. I like the tall guy. He's pretty cool. Mm. 
No, that darker one with the blue tags on looks good too. Not, I want to go after that one blue one that's pretty curled down and up. You see, you see his head sticking up above yeah. the back there? That one looks pretty good. The dark horn. Dark horn with the blue that's tags? That blue tag. Yeah. The one that's right next to the, the cream one. Yeah. Reds are coming your way. Yeah, he's down. Yeah, he's down. Just went down. I need that dog to get over. Thanks, man. You guys stay here. Yep. That's a clean shot. Thanks, man. Good shot, good shot. Who do you think packed a little kit, Aaron? <laughs> Aaron, Aaron be making them hot loads. Yeah, he, he's definitely. He's still kicking over here. Yeah, he'll, be, he'll die. I'm not trying to fit more holes in him than I have to, you know? Hey, look at this ram. Wow, he's cool. Oh, no. Wow, dude. Look at that. Dude, that's a, that's a nice one there. Look at him. Yeah. Got my first ram ever. Really awesome symmetrical. Look at that. I think it's like paddled out in the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. It's awesome. Man, what kind of gun are you using, Riggs? Oh, you know, using uh, my buddy's uh, AR-50. I don't know what the fuck it is. Are you deaf after shooting it? Yeah, I'm a little deaf. Yeah. <laughs> that, that muzzle brake on there. Oh, wow. Uh, crank's pretty good. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful ram, man. Thanks. Really, really nice. This is the kind of one I was looking for. Mm -hmm. it really was. So, awesome experience out here, man. I got a pig and a ram. Yeah, so um, today we uh, went out and did a unique, I wouldn't even call it hunting. It's not really hunting. But yeah, we uh, went out. It was a good time. Shot a couple hogs. I shot a nice ram. I'm on my way now to, to the butchers and. Um, the taxidermist i'm gonna get that uh that ram mounted and then, and then i'm gonna get that uh that haul or that pig professionally butchered and uh the hams cured and bacon and all that stuff professionally made get some breakfast sausage made so all in all not bad you know for it's it's four hundred dollars for a pig and the goats start at uh or ram start at four hundred dollars and work their way up the one i shot was five hundred dollars another guy in a group shot one that was four hundred dollars and then uh, the other guy in our group shot one that was also $500. But um, yeah, so those goes. I mean, the rams and the pigs, I mean, all of it's very reasonably priced. It was nice. The guys were nice. You know, you take a small little boat ride from the boat ramp out to the island. You set up in the uh, little, they got like a little shack, a little hunting shack cabin thing in there. And then, uh, you know, when you get done your hunt, they cook you lunch. And, you know, they also gut out your animals for you right down the spot. So it was, it, was, it was overall fun. It was a new experience for me. It's the first time I ever hunted, quote unquote, hunted in that kind of situation. I'll say quote unquote because, you know, it's um, to me, that's not like really hunting, that, but it's definitely a fun thing to do. Uh, you know, if you're with the boys or whatever, you or your kids and you just want to have a good time, you know, it's, it's definitely a great activity, especially for somebody who's not really a, into hunting or a, a novice hunter. You know, you're pretty much guaranteed to kill. And, you know, you're guaranteed to have a good time. We had a great time. It's very close to my house, about an hour and a half away. But, uh, yeah, so all in all, it was a very fun morning. And, I mean, we saw them right off the bat as soon as we got on land. But it, 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 it was cool. It was unique. We got within, like, you know, anywhere from 20 to 50 yards of these animals. And we're able to make clean, uh, clean ethical shots on them, and we're gonna harvest a lot of meat. I mean, that's basically, you know, at the end of the day, that's really why we were there, is just to get some meat uh, during these times. You know, meat's really expensive, and it's, you know, where else are you gonna find 200 pounds of pork for 400 bucks? So, plus your processing fees, um, or your butchering. It's gonna cost money to butcher too. So realistically, where are you gonna find 200 pounds of 
uh, professionally butchered and processed pork. You know, you're not going to find that anywhere uh, remotely close for that price. So. But yeah, guys, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below if thoughts, feelings, concerns. Um, let me know if you want me to drop the uh, information in the description, and I will. So I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.